Let's take a look at whether BRF3 is ionic or covalent. So the question is, is bromine trifluoride here an ionic or covalent compound? The first thing we can do is look at the periodic table. We have bromine, that's right here, that's a nonmetal, and fluorine, that's right here, that's a nonmetal. When we have two nonmetals, we're expecting that this is going to be a covalent, also called a molecular compound. But let's take a look at the electronegativity just to be sure. So here's bromine, that's 2.96, and fluorine, 3.98. So 3.98 minus 2.96, that's 1.02. That's the difference in electronegativity between bromine and fluorine. Let's see what that means. So 1.02, that's about right here on our scale. So BrF3 is a covalent compound based on electronegativity, the difference in electronegativity between the Br and the F atoms, the bromine and the fluorine atoms. So in answer to our question, BrF3 is a covalent compound. If you want to learn more about the polarity of the BrF3 molecule, there's a link at the end of this video to help you with that. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.